Hello there, I'm Barry Robinson for Scarborough TV News. We're out and about on a dark December night. It's coming up to Christmas and guess what? It's dark now but it's very soon it's going to be light because we're going to be switching on some Christmas lights. We've got some helpers here and we're going to have a countdown. So, everybody from the top. 10, 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 4, 3, 2, and I now declare these Christmas lights well and truly on! Well, as you can see, we've moved inside the garden where the lights are. And I'm with the owner of these fantastic lights, Tony Baker. Now, Tony, I want to know why have you put all these lights on? Because we had a bad accident on the A1 and uh, the daughter was badly hurt. It was a white van man went over the top of her car and uh, the Yorkshire Arms rescued her. Without them, she would have died. They actually, they said on the time, if they couldn't get her off that A1 in time, she would die because it split the liver. Oh. So, so you're raising money for the Yorkshire Air Ambulance? Yes, we do it every year. You say every year, how long have you been doing it for? Five years now. And how much money have you raised? Well, I don't know exactly, but uh, last year was uh, 1,580 something. And the year before was 500. So it's getting better? It's getting better every year. Yeah. Well, I put more lights, I try to get, increase the lights every year for this cause. I understand there are about 10,000 light bulbs. Yes, there is. 10,000, wow. Yes, yes. On the towers, there's about 2,000, something on each of the towers. And uh, actually on the, uh, there's trees at the background up there with the deers. And there's uh, just over 600 there. How long does it take you to put all these lights up? Three months. Three months? Three months. From wow. September to the end of November. And then I switch on from November, the end of November, last weekend in November. And it's run right through then until the new year. And how long does it take you to dismantle it all? Two months. What a labour of love. Well, yes, I, I enjoy it, but I still think it's a real good cause. We've got to draw this money for the Yorkshire Air Ambulance somewhere. So I try every means I can by putting all this together and hoping people enjoy it so we get the money. Well, here we are. It is Sea View Crescent. It is a little bit out of the way of everybody, off the beaten track. Yeah, but it's ideal because if it was actually on the main road, you wouldn't be allowed to do it because there were cars and there'd likely be accidents on the road. So this is, this is a crescent, so they can go in one end and out the other. So there's no problem with the traffic. Well, I must admit, when we arrived, there were quite a few people here. Well, there is, it, it varies from night to night. But as I say, we try, we can only try, we put all this on every night and people tell me they really enjoy it. Their mm. children come back time and time again just to see these lights. It's fantastic. Yeah. I think so. Well, I'd like to say very well done, and uh, I do hope you raise over two thousand pounds this so, time. And so do I. You, as the coming, they're still pulling in at the moment. Well, thank you very much indeed, Tony, for having a chat. Well, as you can see, Christmas has really come to Scarborough. I'm Barry Robinson for Scarborough TV News. <laughs>